Um, yeah, I, I want to try something different today, you know, uh, try like a video game. Blog, you know, I just talk about, you know, a couple of random things, you know. Um, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I know people have, like, heard this before, you know, it's kind of controversial, I'd say. You know, um, the, the most thing about that being the roster, it was kind of, I guess you'd say, gimped from the Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, and that, that came out, uh, 2009, re-released on PSN and uh, Xbox Live. And, um, they took out about 20 characters and that didn't sit well with the audience and I, I can understand why they took out like um really like really well known characters like um they took out Cyclops uh Venom uh Juggernaut they took out um Strider Mega Man uh, let's see, who else? I, I can't really name them all. There's like a 56, 57. I'm not sure, but co compare that to the the minuscule like 35, 36 from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's like, where did that idea come from? And even then, you know, you know that 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 Disney owns Marvel. You know, I thought like that would have went like, you know, like out of this world. And I put some Tron characters in. Maybe uh, a couple from uh, Kingdom Hearts, you know? I mean, because that's collaborative with, you know, Square Enix and Disney. Disney owns Marvel. So maybe they could get in. I'm not sure. But, you know, and, uh, and on the, the Capcom side, um, some of you may know the game series Sengoku Basara. It's um, Devil King's known you know, known in the U.S. And I was thinking, like, that that series had its own fighting game, and yet none of those fighters were included in Marvel's Capcom 3. And, um, I, I was really hoping to see that, too, because it's, it's one of their best series, in my opinion, you know. I would like to see, um, Date Masamune, or, you know, Iyasu Tokugawa, you know. He's, he's like, they fit right in with that. Maybe even, um, Oichi, Nobunaga, you know. They're, um, they, they've had their own fighting experience, and yet, I don't think Capcom even acknowledged that in the U.S. I mean, that game was in arcades only, so I guess that might have been the reason. So, I, I've seen, like, the downloadable characters, and they've already been on the disc and they're only like unlocked through payment so you're actually paying to use something you already have and I think that that's kinda cheap man it's like it, it's kinda like you know you have to pay me like to use your own car or something it, it's like I, I don't get what they're trying to do with that I mean I mean, I guess you pay for, you know, like, brand new characters that went on the disc. And I, I you know, I really would have liked to see, you know, Tron in there. Just, just for the hell of it, you know? Like, why not? You're, you're like, the biggest fighting series ever. <laughs> and yet, you didn't acknowledge that. Uh, I don't know. So, that, that, that topic's been, like, covered by a lot of people. But, you know, I just want to throw my two cents in there. You know, why the hell not? And, uh, let's see. The next thing I want to talk about is, um, Conduit 2 related. Um, you know, a couple of days ago I was looking through some pictures and, um, I came across one on the oil derrick. And, uh, on the side of it it says Glomar. So, I, um, I, was, I got really curious. That's what I do. That, that's what the first one got me hooked with, you know all the uh the secrets and the messages and stuff like that so um i googled glomar and some things came up like um it was like from the wikipedia i saw it was um like a oil derrick the cia had set up to supposedly dig for um 
I think it was like a Soviet submarine that had sunk. So, like, you know, according to, like, the Conduit Universe, like, minor spoilers here, minor, that, um, that might have been Atlantis, not a Soviet submarine. You know, I, I, I'm still, like, like, digging through that, you know, because a lot of cryptic things, and, um, the, the CIA denied the existence of that, of course, why wouldn't they? So, you know, that, that being there, and they have that, the real Glomar, like, is kind of parallel to the Glomar in Conduit 2, I, I want to see where that goes, you know, I mean, from the first Conduit game, they had, uh, some, some real world things in there, you know, conspiracies that they worked into the game, into the plot, and it, it worked well for the most part. I mean, some things were, you know, not portrayed as, as well as they could have been, but overall, you know, it, it kept you enthralled in it, and for, like, the people who like, um, like, hidden secrets, that game was full of them. I mean, you could, like, spend hours looking on the Cryptopedia on GameFAQs, and I've actually, you know, skimmed through it, and I saw some things that are not pretty interesting, and, um, hopefully, you know, they build upon that in Conduit 2. I, I really liked it, and, uh, you know, and that'll be out in, like, a month and a half, so, good for that, you know. Um, let's see. The last thing I want to talk about is the 3DS. Now, it launched in Japan, I think it was Friday, either Friday or Saturday, and, uh, I've been watching a lot of, uh, gameplay and demonstration on it, and uh, it seemed to be shaping up pretty well. I, I think Nintendo has <laughs> another hit on their hands, like, like they ever don't with their systems. Um, the, the thing that, that's kind of like, uh, Bugging me about it is the region locking, and I, I still don't see the point of it. I, I I just honestly don't. I mean, people import the games, and then some of them hack the system, so they're kind of encouraging the hacking and and pirating also, because people can buy like R4 cards for it. And I know they're being made like right now. Like the ODS wasn't wasn't region locked, I don't think. So I, I don't know why to jump to that. But you know they also had the the Wii region locked. But um I I don't know. Like they, they've been doing that. I hope with their next home console that they don't region lock. But yeah, no, I'm I'm betting they will. I mean. That, that's one of my things, you know, Japan has some great exclusives, and, you know, to get those, you'd have to import them, maybe buy a Japanese system, and that, that gets really expensive, it's like, maybe two to three times more importing than just buying it locally, so, you know, about that, I, I'm not really sure, and, um, another thing to 3DS, I've seen the, um, they like dissected the system and I saw like the battery was like I think it was 1300 mAh that's um for nymph batteries the chargeable and I was like I'm looking at that and like I'm holding my Wii mode at the same time it's like one of my double A's is 2500 mAh like I don't get is that is that the same type of battery cause that was a double A in my Wii mode and in the 3DS, it's like, it, it should be more than that, I mean, I mean, my Wiimote can last about 8 or 9 hours when I'm not even playing a game, you know, and I'm like, how, how long is the battery, I haven't seen anybody, you know, test the battery out, or, you know, comment on that, you know, I, I haven't, um, really looked into it since that day, because, you know, I'm just not sure, you know, I, I will probably look that up, um, recently, you know, so, yeah, 
I think that's about all for now. This video is long as hell. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.